human papilloma virus, or HPV, is the most common sexually transmitted infection in the U.S. In fact, nearly all sexually active men and women become infected at some point. Many associate the virus with causing cervical cancer, but comes with other risks. 5 News reporter uh, Catherine Gilker shows us a new study highlighting the need for awareness. New survey data from the American Association for Cancer Research shows in recent years Americans have become less aware that the human papilloma virus causes cervical cancer. It also shows a lack of awareness the virus can cause other cancers. But Dr. Bailey Lutz at Northwest Health says people can protect themselves. Originally that Gardasil vaccine came out to protect girls against cervical cancer, but now we know that it also protects against oropharyngeal or throat and mouth cancers and some different skin cancers on um, private parts. And so vaccinating before people get exposed to those viruses can prevent cancer from developing. That's why Lutz says it's now recommended boys also get the vaccine. It's recommended in kids between ages 9 and 11. If someone waits until their 20s to get the shot, more doses are required. Millions of people a year are infected with HPV, and the good news is that most of our immune systems can clear that virus on its own in a couple years, um, but not everybody's does. And so if it sticks around, that's when it can cause cervical cancer or even genital warts in some people. Dr. Lutz says many people do not have symptoms, and women don't find out until they get a pap smear. Meanwhile, there's no FDA-approved test for detection in men. Lutz encourages people to take an active step in their health and protect themselves. Through condom use, through limiting exposures as you can, and being aware and knowing um, you know, what you might be exposed to is super important. But yeah, it seems like something that people are more comfortable talking about now, which is great. We want to take good care of people, and we don't know, um, you know unless they share with their doctors what they need. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News.